I'm a nerd, and uh, I'm pretty proud of it. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia, defender of the Yeah, you were the prince, Christ weren't you? Yeah, I'm sorry folks, today I'm not reviewing or reacting to that He-Man from 1983 to 1985. Unfortunately, I've got to commit the cardinal sin and react to the brand new Masters of the Universe trailer from Kevin Smith. He, the almighty, the once fat dude, now a really bad scrawny skinny dude. Yeah, I've got to do a reaction for that trailer. And it really hurts me to do this. Okay, you bozos and hobos, back in March of this year, I did a review for the first part of Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe. It pains me to say I can't even bring out the phrase He-Man and the Masters of the Universe because it's not that, it wasn't that at all. Now, I think Eddie Brock's symbiote had entered my body at some point and made me say and do ridiculous things, making me, for example, like most of that series. I had my fault with it, but honestly, the comments on a video were like, no, this is woke garbage, you shouldn't be saying this. I took a deep breath. I sat back and I thought, you know what? These people are absolutely correct. Who the hell am I kidding? Myself, just myself. I, I, I have to say it like it is. It is an awful take on the He-Man mythos. None of it makes any sense. So I deleted that video. Now, whether if you have downloaded that video to keep for whatever reason, yeah, you're more than welcome to, but honestly, that, <laughs> that first half of the show had some of the most piss poor writing I've ever witnessed. Do you know what? At some point, I will be doing an overview of the 2002 He-Man, which nobody seems to talk about anymore. And I know the 1983 to 85 series gets a lot of love. It gets a lot of love for me still. I think it's still one of the greatest animated shows ever to have graced our screens. But this one, this is a beauty. It really is. And I will be doing an overview at some point. But without further ado, guys, Let's react to this travesty. Oh, by the way, before I do this, this is my favorite comment at the moment from uh, Harai Prasanth. Netflix ends season one with a big cliffhanger. Also, Netflix reveals the entire plot season from season two. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I haven't watched this trailer yet, but it's true. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Sorry if I misread that comment there, but it is so funny. I have to like that comment as well. Give it a like. At the moment, it's 13,000 likes compared to uh, 3,600 dislikes. Well, I'm gonna add my dislike already before even watching this because that's how I roll and I don't care really. So without further ado, guys, let's just react. Oh, it's two minutes. Well, let's call it a two minute long trailer because I think the 50 seconds would be like Netflix is tailing out with a usual logo and everything else. We want to believe in an ordered universe. Yeah, this makes me laugh. So you're bringing Mark Hamill to portray one of the best villains in the He-Man universe, but it's basically Mark Hamill. Can I reprise my Joker from Batman? Will I do? Uh, yeah, that's fine. And here he is. Just no thought at all put into this. It's ridiculous. Some grand architecture holding it all together. Yeah, I'll be rolling my eyes a lot during this video. After all the... Yeah, uh, after all these years, these years hey man. I finally know the real secret of Grayskull. There is only power. I thought he was going to say, there is only one. And then Highlander comes in and just kicks his ass to the curb. <laughs> and now... That is the worst looking Skeletor ever. I mean, seriously, the one in the 2002 and the 1980 show, way more scarier. Who the, who the hell is this guy? I have the power. Oh, God, jeez. Yeah, because at the end of the first part of Masters of... M-O-T-U. I'm just going to call it that. There are no masters in this show at all. Uh, yeah, it's just that uh, yeah, he took over. He got the sword. He just went, I have the power. And now he's got this. This is a new era. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. 
It's the new era of sabotaging pop culture for your own means. That's what it is. As the new sorceress, the bumbling idiot. All right, okay, okay. Now, Evelyn just looks way hotter here, actually. I've got to say that much. So she's the new sorceress, but... Uh, and yes, we got Lena Headey doing voice duties, but is Lena Headey really committed to this character at all? I don't know, whatever. Past, we'll know. Oh, hang on a second. Let me just look back at this. Right, so she's barking orders at her minions, which is fair enough, she can do that. You know, she's kind of like the person that was always standing in the shadow of Skeletor anyway, waiting to get that moment to be the power-hungry mad woman that she is, and now she's getting a chance. No longer be tolerated. I gotta say, the animation here, it's a little bit stilted. I noticed this in the first run, where she's kind of like going up and down like those Captain Pugwash cartoons, if you remember what I'm talking about. Yeah. Great. The only way we can stop this sorceress is with another source. Oh my god. Jeez, Th this chick, yeah. Oh. Tila? Oh my god. Sarah Michelle Geller, like you couldn't have picked a a worse actress to play her. I mean, Sarah Michelle Geller used to be good, but she's a one-note actress and I don't get the whole look here. Like, you know, you can have a badass female but not shave the sides of her head, but this seems to be the new way to represent at the moment in entertainment, and you don't really have to do that. If we want to live... Yeah, the same Tila that got butt hurt because Adam died, and they only found that... They only revealed the secret of that he was He-Man to her afterwards, which is awful. In the car, in the previous iterations, they always kept that a secret from her. She was never meant to know. Yeah, because it was a pact made between Orko Adam and the original sorceress that only the three of them can know he's He-Man. Nobody else is to know. But of course, they changed that a little bit in the 2002 cartoon, which I didn't mind. Like his father and mother knew, if I remember that rightly, so. We're going to have to fight. If I can tap into Are the power, we now? I can stop her. Soon, all of Eternia will remember this historic moment when Skeletor finally kills Oh, Mark Hamill, what are you doing, mate? Jesus, stop, stop now, stop. Just for Eternia and for my sake before I start going mad as well. I think I'm already going mad. So we've got a jacked up Skeletor, which is great, and he's got his means of Skeletors behind him because obviously one Skeletor is not enough. What are we laughing at? See? Yeah, that, that's just really out of character. Skeletor would never say that. Like, what are you laughing at? He'll never do that. Not in the previous cartoons, nothing. Skeletor has like his army of people around him. He asks them questions to make himself look better than they are because they are incompetent beings. But this is just a little bit out of character for what he, he would say or do. Okay, and Cringe is just cringing in the background. I don't know why he's doing that. Interesting that you got Adrian. Adrian! And... uh Tila in the background. Um, that's in that, that is. Yeah. But the spark, that was always me. No. Yes. By the power of Grey Skull. Okay, so this is what I'm told is Savage He Man or the Savage Sword of Conan. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a ripoff of Conan the Barbarian. That's what it is. They had to be so original. They had to go to a Marvel character and take their their basic look and use it for this. That's what it is. It's Conan the Barbarian. The power is mine alone. I'm betting he just appears in one episode. Maybe the first and last episode of the second run and that's it. In between, it's just going to be, well, She-Man. <laughs> Why did it That's all it's going to be. Citizens of Eternia, we're in dire need of your help. Right, so Citizens of Eternia, we need your help, but you can't deal with this yourselves? Because in the old cartoons, it's pretty much the gang banded together and dealing with it themselves. There is nothing oh. to live for. All right, Skeletor's just got a bald head now, has he? What happened to your badass helmet, Skeletor? Yeah, they're trying to make... You know what? Skeletor kind of reminds me of the, the... This version of Skeletor kind of reminds me of the villains that... Uh, yeah, that uh, the Doom Slayer in the Doom games took out. He kind of reminds me of that. So nothing original about his design whatsoever. The power is mine alone. Why did it answer his call? 
Yeah, Mark Hamill as Skeletor. Nah. Uh-uh. Citizens of Eternia, we're in dire need of your help. There is no- I'm in dire need of staying awake during this monstrosity of a trailer. Holy shit. All dead. And to chaos. Will we- oh, blimey, right. She gets to fight here before she's taking the back seat. We- Again, made up character. We don't need to see. Whatever. Will we all return? Thank you for being my daughter. Yeah, the same daughter that had a go at you in the previous season because you didn't tell me that Adam was He-Man. For being my daughter. Now we need to be something greater. Look at the sky. All hope is gone. Everything will end. Honestly, I just need amphetamines to keep me awake. Find safe positions. Okay, yes, that's he. So you just call out the people from Eternia to help you out. She's got a pitchfork, like that's going to do much damage. And he's telling them, yeah, just find, yeah, just stand, stand, stand aside or do whatever. Have these, have these citizens of Eternia been combat trained? But it's, it's, I bet it's going to be like Shang-Chi where it just takes a day or less to train them into super warriors. And yeah, all is good in the world again. Right. There are no safe positions. Oh, okay. Well, I did not so I did not know she was going to say that. Oh, that's hilarious. Brilliant. Oh, there's one behind me. Mm, okay, right. I'm sounding a bit hopeful, but not that hopeful. Battle cat in battle in rage mode. Okay. Masters of the Universe Revelation. No, this is not uh, He-Man, or should I say She-Man, and the Masters of the Universe. Yeah. Oh, you guys are in trouble now. Oh, that's Orko, because Orko was meant to have died, then came... Oh, God, I give up now. This whole narrative with He-Man, or whatever this version of He-Man is, is just a monstrosity. Oh, God. You know, remember when Kevin Smith was actually genuinely funny before he wanted to join the Billion Dollar Club or whatever it is he wants to get into? When he wore the overcoat, sweated inside of that overcoat. God knows, it hasn't probably seen a day at the laundry. He had Jason Mewes as his sidekick. Still does, but I don't know what those two are doing now. When they made really funny films like Clerks, More Rats, which is unapologetically on PC. If you haven't watched that film, do you watch it. Chasing Amy, Dogma. Ah, oh my God. And of course, we're getting Clerks 3, but nobody is. Can it, is anybody really interested in that? No. I'm going to watch this, the second part of the show, but I'm really going to lambast it. I really am going to lay into it. And I don't know what they've done to this character. I know there's another version now that is called He-Man on Netflix also. I kind of watched a bit of it. It looks all right. Um, another guy that's in charge of it, he's kind of dispensing with the nonsense that this particular version is giving to us right now, forcing down our throats. There is a phrase that I'm going to say again, it's called pop culture sabotaging. It's going to continue to happen, but hopefully it will continue to be reversed. That's what we need to do, people. Reverse this silly narrative that's going around Hollywood at the moment. I don't, I can't stand it and oh my god, I think this is just going to be a distant bad memory when I want to get over it. I'm trying to get over the last iteration or the last first few episodes. What was it? It was six episodes. Oh, I don't care anymore. So <laughs> Now, folks, I have one more humble request to make of you. Do like this video, take your Sword of Eternia out, and slash that subscribe button, and I will see you on my next video, which will contain a rant, a reaction, or maybe a half assed review, if I can be bothered these days. Like and subscribe, or get your nuts Krogan crushed.